Today I want to talk about Aston Martins because for the first time in Thailand Super Series the Aston Martin brand is here on the grid and that's because Viper Nisa Racing, a very established, pretty famous Malaysian race team, they have swapped over from a long distance program into the Aston Martin program and they have got the new Vantage GT4 and over here the new Vantage GC3. These cars are pretty fantastic. They're right on the technological edge. They are pushing the envelope of GC3 and GC4 race car development. These cars are bursting with technology. They sound fantastic. They look fantastic. The team have just got delivery off them a few months ago and they're using the final races of Thailand Super Series to get to grips with the car, to work them up to speed, to iron the things out, to learn about them, adapt them to racing in Buriram on on Asian tracks. So I thought this is a great opportunity just to talk about these cars. I want to ask We're on Tan, director of Aston Martin Racing Asia, just to explain the cars a little bit, just to go through the technology and all the new innovations on these cars so you can really get a feel for what they're like because they really are something pretty epic, something pretty special. So let's get started. To explain the car, I'm going to go straight over to Weiron Tan, director of Aston Martin Racing Asia because he knows the car inside out. Weiron, thank you for your time. I'm just going to ask you to talk through the GT3 and the GT4 please. This is the Aston Martin Vantage GT3, um, a very high performance car, um, a lot of different technologies put into it um, compared to the GT4 and the special thing about this car is that they've built the GTE and used a lot of their technology brought down to develop this GT3 car, so something very very unique. This is also an upgraded version of n nothing compared to the Royal Car Vantage, um, a race spec set of discs, pads from Alcon, um, suspension, five-way, five-way oil. The GT3 also produces a lot of downforce with this massive splitter. And one really cool fact about the front end of the car is that you know these are not just for aesthetic purposes, they all have an individual function. For example, at like the top um, produces airflow into the engine, the middle one goes straight to the radiator, um, and the bottom one to the intercooler. So they're all perfectly designed to make sure that the car has, a, has can maximize its performance. And also you have these, these louvers on the side to increase downforce um, and create a better airflow through the car. The new generation Vantage GT3 comes with a lot of electronic aids. A lot of the technology as well was brought down from the GTE car to help the drivers and help customers who've got very little experience in, in this car, uh, make, it, make it a lot more, more easy for them to drive. Um, as you can see as well, the inside of the car is very nicely and neatly packed, um, which is also very pleasing to the eyes. This is the Aston Martin Vantage GT4, very entry level. Um, best way to describe it is that based off the Vantage model of the road car, this is 80% road and 20% race car. So a lot of the components of this car still comes from the road version of the Vantage, but obviously tuned and modified to a full race spec so that it can do sprint endurance races and it can take a lot of beating for sure. So here we've got a 4 litre twin turbo V8. Same engine block used in the road car version. Um, the Vantage GT4 still uses as well the road car gearbox, which is which is perfect for entry level customers um, who've never driven the car before. Um, so it makes it very forgiving, especially when the when the driver spins, he doesn't risk damaging the gearbox. And so that's that's one of the really cool things about this car. The brakes are also upgraded, obviously to Alcon brake discs and pads, um, full race spec, Olin suspension two way, and. Um, the ABS on this car is also very, very forgiving. Um, the driver can, can play with that with a few variations to see if there is too much ABS intervention, he can lower that. Otherwise, vice versa, increase it a little bit. So something also very cool about this, this car. So obviously the Vantage GT4 being a super entry level car, um, it still looks pretty aggressive for what it is. Obviously you've got a, you've got a splitter, um, a front bumper that's completely different and 
an enhanced um, for, as well for, for, for the air intake to cool the engine down. Some front, front splitters, um, you've got different side seals, uh, rear wing, rear diffuser, all to help with the, to increase the downforce of the car. Um, not as much as the GT3 obviously, and the car also weighs about 100 kilos more. But then again, it is a, a lot of the components of this car come from the Royal Car Vantage. So. The interior of the car has been completely redesigned. Obviously you've got a, race, a full spec race seat, um, a movable pedal box, and a Formula One style steering wheel, I would call it as well. And on the steering wheel, you've got a different set of buttons um, to help aid the driver, um, especially with the ABS and traction control that is also on, on this dash that you you know that, that the driver has access to. Um, the, the whole idea of it is to make it as easy as possible for the driver to make changes when he needs to, but to more to focus more on the driving rather than than, than playing around with the setup of the car.